Consider an IP packet of length 4500 bytes that includes a 20 byte IPv4 header and a 40 byte TCP header. The packet is forwarded to an IPv4 router that supports a maximum transmission unit of 600 bytes. Assume that the length of the IP header in all outgoing fragments of this packet is 20 bytes. Assume that the fragmentation offset value stored in the first fragment is 0. The fragmentation offset value stored in the third fragment is dash. So this is a question from computer networks regarding IP fragmentation. So what fragmentation means is that here we have a packet of length 4500 bytes. So each IP datagram has a length of 4500 bytes but some transmission channel might not be able to send a packet of size this large. So that what the router will do is it will know that what the channel can accept, the maximum size the channel can accept. Based on that, it will divide this IP packet into smaller packets. So each packet will have a fragment offset associated with the packet to know what is the sequence of the packet in that large packet. Let's say we divide it into three packets, so we need to know the order or the sequence in which the packets that can be reassembled later, right? So that is what fragmentation is. You can refer to the video lectures to understand that in detail. Now we'll take a look at this question. The IP datagram has a length of 4500 byte. Now 20 byte is IP header. They have given us TCP header as well but that doesn't matter. From IP perspective the header is 20 and the data part is 4500 minus 20 that is 4480. This much is the TCP segment length. Now we need to divide this into smaller packets such that each packet's maximum length is 600 byte. Now, let us say this packet is 600 byte. So the header itself will be 20 bytes. Each packet also needs its own IP header. So the rest, the data can be at max 580 bytes. But then another property of doing fragmentation is that the length should be a multiple of 8. Why this is, the reason is that fragmentation offset is a 13 bit number in IP header. Whereas the total length is a 16 bit number in IP header. So in total length, whatever is the number that is the number of bytes that packet has, the length in bytes. But whatever is given in fragment offset, we need to multiply it by 8 or we need to apply scaling factor to make the size correct. To make a 16 bit field of length, we need to compress it to a 13 bit field. So we need to apply scaling factor of 8 here. So 580 is not a multiple of 8. So the maximum multiple of 8 less than 580 is 576. So the length of the packet would be 576. Adding a header of 20, the total will be 596, which is less than 600. So each packet, each fragment will be having data part of 576 and a header part of 20. Now 576 divided by 8 is 72. Now this is the number that will be stored in fragment offset. So let us see what will happen in the third packet. In the first packet, the fragment offset would be 0. And we are sending 576 byte as data, meaning the second packet will have a fragment offset of 72, denoting that already 576 bytes have been sent. So this will also have 576 byte of data. This will also add a fragment offset of 72, meaning the third one will have a fragment offset of 144. This denotes that a total of 576 plus 576 data has already been sent in previous fragments. 144 is the answer here.